ignition table. So let's revisit this real quick. We can see right now the engine speeds as approximately 1300. We're gonna find that the desired RPM for idle is 1000. The idle target error here is negative 300. That's the difference between our actual and the target. So we're overshooting it by, in this case, negative 300. We can see that it's sourcing here. This is coolant temperature versus the position in the table here. So negative 500, negative 250. That's right where we're at here. That's gonna be sourcing the ignition timing. Now notice ignition angle, that's the actual ignition timing. The ignition table here, that's the ignition table, the spark timing table one. When we're running in our ignition timing correction here, the ignition angle, the, uh, the idle ignition correction table, it sources these values as absolute timing. This is where the timing comes from. What, we're, what, we, what I've done is I've opened up the throttle plate a bunch to allow extra airflow into the engine, which allows me then to use my spark timing here to manipulate the torque at idle so that I can get it down into the, the range that I want. So in order to have idle torque, we need airflow, we need fuel, we need spark. So we're gonna match our, air, our, our fuel. We know we've sorted that out. We've had that at 1.0 oh lambda. The things that we can change our idle torque with would be airflow and spark. I don't wanna drop my airflow down because if I do, it never wanna fire up coal. Also, if I'm coming down into idle, I wanna have a reserve of airflow as I lift off the throttle and being able to use my spark timing, which I can instantly command and bring in more spark timing to be able to get more idle torque back and do it virtually rather than worrying about controlling it mechanically. So using this table here, we can manipulate the spark timing to get the desired idle torque we want to hit the desired target RPM that we want for idle. So let's take a look at the cause and effect here. If we're overshooting it by 500, 500 RPM, let's go and have zero degrees timing. You'll notice when I change that right here, we can see the timing drop down a little bit. The, uh, the RPM air here dropped a little as well. So we're getting closer and closer to that target RPM of 1,000 by me reducing the timing. Let's try that again here at 250. Let's assume we want zero degrees. As soon as I do that, we can see that the idle target air here drops down again. Let me change our, if we're 100 over here, let's change it to five degrees. Now we can see it gets further and further closer to our, our desire here. So 1,000 to roughly 1,100. Let's go and drop this down to two degrees. Let's take our minus 50 or 50 RPMs over our target. Zero again is where we wanna be at. Let's go and change this to something like five degrees. We can see it's gonna be dropping here. We see our idle RPM here is around 1,080, 1,070. That's pretty good. I'm gonna drop down my 1,000 here. Let's just change this to zero. We're gonna change our 50 here to two degrees. Let it come down a little bit more. And then 25 degree, 25, deg 25 RPM, I'm saying degrees, 25 RPM over the, the uh, zero point or where we want to be at. Let's change that to five degrees so it drops down in timing. And then here at zero, let's just set that to 10 degrees. That looks good. So we should find now, um, even if we go here to negative 500 and change it to five degrees minus five, we'll go between these two. We'll do shift H. We can see we're going to be taking timing out. And then as we get closer to that zero point, we want to have around the timing we need to be to, to have that desired idle RPM. And then as we get below this, this would be going below that RPM, we need to add timing back in to bring up our idle torque. Our airflow is not changing, we're changing our spark time to get more or less idle torque. So we're gonna find that kind of effect here. We go below zero RPM. We're gonna get into 25 RPM below. This is gonna be where we start to add uh, more timing, so five degrees more. At 500 below, let's say it changes to 25 degrees. That would be the timing here. So we're gonna find as we move across from zero to 500 RPM below the target, we'll do shift H. We're gonna be feeding more and more timing into it to bring up the idle torque. Now remember, we have that airflow constant because our throttle plate's open. So we should find that in that situation, we're going to not have the idle dip or drop. So if we quickly blip the throttle here, let it come down, we can see it hits that, that zero point here, that zero where we have a target, and it bounces it back up a little bit. So the airflow is established. It's moving the spark timing to get the idle. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.